Jennifer Rosewall, and today I'm going to introduce you to the theorist William Glasser. He was born in 1925 in Ohio. 1962 was the year that he was deemed the creator of reality therapy. More specifically, his contribution specifically was named Choice Theory. He was educated at Case Western Reserve University in Ohio, where he received both his bachelor's and his master's in clinical psychology. He went on to complete his MD at UCLA and completed his psychiatric residency there. He stayed practicing in California and even founded the William Glasser Institute in 1996 in Chatsworth, California. Glasser's major contributions are obviously the creation of reality therapy. His theory was initially named control theory, however, with his extensive additions over time to the theory and to avoid confusion with the early William T. Powers 1950s control theory, he later renamed his theory choice theory. Dr. Glasser was concerned more with personal choice, personal responsibility, and personal transformation than really categorizing individuals by symptoms according to the Diagnostic and Statistical manner, Manual of Mental Health Disorders via medication. He felt it was far more beneficial to advocate for a public health approach to mental health instead of medication or any other medical method that may have typically been used. According to Glasser, he feels that diagnoses are descriptions of behaviors that people choose in their attempt to deal with the pain and frustration that is endemic to unsatisfying present relationships. Therefore, label it, labeling is ineffective behavior as mental illness is not a true illness. According to Corey, 2009, page 317, which will be later described in references. The choice theory is designed to explain how we are functioning and why we are functioning that way. The purpose of reality therapy allows clients to take control of their lives and produce a positive outcome. The theory suggests that people are wired with five needs, survival, love, and belonging, power or achievement, freedom or independence, and fun. Reality therapy instructs clients to identify which those which of those meet needs are unmet and determine how they can meet those successfully. The important part of therapy is having the clients prior to prioritize those needs and determine which one is the most important. Now, given that there are five needs, Glasser does recognize that not every person is going to have the same strength for each one of those needs. I might need more love than the next person. Another person might need more um, power or achievement than I might. It's just, it varies among the person, but they, we do know, according to the theory, that those five needs are, will be present in individuals. Um, it also suggests that unmet needs are directly correlated with poor relationships or lack of. Glosser stresses the importance of the role of therapist in reality therapy because if the client cannot see the therapist as a person that they could have in their quality world, according to Glasser, the therapy will have no chance of succeeding. Complaining in the reality therapy is useless useless as therapists recognize it is ineffective and practice that the only person that is in control is the client. Nobody else can control the client and the client cannot control others. Going in the past is also avoided as those are not important now, states Glasser. He feels that whatever happened in the past happened in the past. The present problems are present problems because of present behaviors. So he wants to focus on those and not what is in the past because that is over. Therapists zone in areas that the clients do have control in their lives in order to teach the client how to make choices that can improve the situations or relationships that are not in control at the time of therapy. One major important thing also to include in reality therapy is the importance of self-evaluation. Are your behaviors getting you what you want and what you need? A challenge for the client is to evaluate their behaviors followed by a plan for a better outcome, which in turn change the behaviors for a positive outcome. Um, reality therapy is very much being used still today. It is very effective in schools, correctional facilities, state mental hospitals, 
um, halfway houses and substance abuse centers because the ther therapy is intended and designed to allow control individuals to control their behaviors through improved decisions or choices, hence the choice theory. Also, about 20 schools throughout the country are actually using Glasser's philosophy. It is about avoiding past actions, which make the students respond to what they are doing currently. They are to figure out what need they are satisfying by doing the behavior and then create a plan all by themselves to correct the behavior in hopes of completely changing the behavior and the outcome of the student. So today, I hope you learned a little bit more about William Glasser and reality therapy. I wanted to inform you that the resources that I used was a book called Theory and Practice of Counseling and Psychotherapy. It's the 8th edition written by Gerald Corey in 2009. I used pages 316 to 338 for the theorist William Glasser. And also, the website that the instructor... with the dance structure provided famous psychologist anywhere anytime is on the blackboard week four page and if you look up William Glass Glasser in that website that the instructor provided you can find all the information that I used um, to create this presentation as well I hope you enjoyed the presentation and thank you very much